Hey, what's up, gang? Yeah, I feel like I'm getting to know you guys now. Uh, I, I, uh, <laughs> the big fuck you. You are, you are great. You're right. You're right. That's why you're great. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, f it's funny to hear you go nuts on me, but I, I admitted it myself that uh, that I would, that I felt a lot like my mother with that bird. So let me tell you what guys would happen. And also, uh, who's the other one again? One who knows my mother, my, my mother and my brother, I'm sorry to have uh, jumped down your throat, but my God, dude, whenever my friend brings up my mother and says he saw my mother, I just say, shut up, man. I, I don't want to fucking hear anything. I don't want to hear one word about her because uh, she played with me for a year. So, oh yeah, gray matter. So I'm sorry for insulting you and, and, and being so abrupt, but hey, she had my friend playing me for one full year, acting nice, exactly what you did today. You know, we all had it hard, we have to this, and then slowly but surely it turned into a apology, you know, your mother would like to hear from you, and then it was like, that's it. I never spoke to him again. It was my best friend since I was, he lived in my backyard. Our backyards were connected since I was five years old, my best friend. Cut him out of my life and will never speak to him again. Even though now he's divorced and apparently he's depressed, living alone with his, living in his parents' house. Forget it. Forget it. So I'm warning anyone, my God, like, do not play flying monkey with, you, with me because at this point, everyone's being warned. I will drive them crazy. I mean, I'll just, I'll kill someone. Literally, I'll fucking kill someone. If someone tries to play me with my fucking mother. She really misses you. That's what she probably told my, 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 my friend, you know? She really misses you. She feels she made some mistakes in life, but she did the best. Fuck you. Call me a narcissist. Fuck you. Call me a fucking... I don't care what you call me. At the end of the day, what she did to me over the years, how many... I don't even know who she is. So I don't even know who we're talking about. You know my mother? Okay, good. I don't know my mother. Or you said your mother's your, your mother knows my mother. I mean, maybe she knows my real mother. That might be interesting to hear, but I, I just don't want to hear it. I mean... Let me tell you what guys happened with the bird. You guys are going to be angry. The fucking bird is walking around my my, my desk today. I'm, I'm in the couch, and she and I, and I keep trying to tell her, you know, trying to teach her not to walk on the on the on the table because she goes on my keyboard and she messes up the videos I'm watching while I'm watching them. Anyways, you know, I don't know how to train a bird. It's not like a, it's not like a rat. I've had rats and I've had cats. I've had dogs. You can train a mammal. Like a, a bird, it must take must take someone. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just can't do it. It's the second bird I've had. Okay. You know what the bird does? The bird, and this is like God was telling me that I should get rid of the bird. Okay, so this is, this is what happened. The bird hit a coffee cup, which I didn't even remember that was there. It was full of coffee. I had bought it last night and never drink, took one sip, so it was full. The bird knocks it over, and it falls right onto my cable modem and my cable modem stops working and I lose the internet and I go into despair. I have a borderline catastrophic suicidal moment. I start thinking about Isaac Cappy on the bridge and I think, my God, if I was on a bridge now, I said, this is the kind of thing like that probably happened to him when he had the flat tire. I said, I didn't, I was having a lot of stress already. The heat, the construction, the, the fight, it was a lot of shit, but Bah! In the end of the day, I was already down. I didn't need that. And I was just, for an hour, I was screaming in my, on my couch like a, like a lunatic. Why, God? Why do you do this to me? Why do you keep fucking me up? Like, come on. I try to do good for the bird. She would have been long gone by now. She wasn't able to fly. I said... Anyways, so I said, you know what? It, it's a message. It's a sign. I was lying on my, bed, on my couch and I said, you know what? It's, like, it's a sign that the bird just has to go. Let me try again, because it had been a few days since I took her out. And she's flying now in my apartment like a champ. Like she can go in between the computers and down the hallway. So I really had no, I mean, I was still worried. 
but I was much more confident that she would be okay. So I brought her to the same park. And I'm telling you guys, this park, there's a million pigeons. There's no predators. Although I have seen predators when the winter comes, but uh, seagulls, but very few. Where I found her, there were a lot of seagulls and hawks. I've seen hawks. So I, so I took her to a better park. I brought her there, I took her out. And this time, it was a whole different story. First of all, she flew right out like a, she looks, seems so happy that she can actually fly because she's been flying around in here, but it's a small apartment. So she flies to the pigeons that are eating around, hanging around, and she mingles right away. And I can see this time she's in a, she's, she's not a baby anymore. And it's like they're communicating, they're talking, whatever. She flies right on top where all the pigeons are, like this little house where I thought she was last time. And then I'm thinking, uh-oh, I hope she doesn't just sit up there alone because that's an easy, like she'll get eaten there if they all fly down and she's stuck up there. But no, I watched someone put some food down and all the pigeons came down, including her. She, I, you know, she was mingling where I couldn't even tell it was her until I found her. And then for the last, you know, grand finale, which made me sure I was sure that I, confident that she wasn't gonna be alone, they flew back up into a, into a tree into a thick, dense tree where they probably sleep. Well, I know they sleep there. <laughs> you know, I know all the animals in that park really intimately with, with their, their habits. Um, and she flew right up in there. And I saw her hanging out with uh, another female pigeon. And all the pigeons were, I mean, she just went right in. So I stayed around. I did go back later to see if she was around uh, on the ground or anything. I looked, she's not. Uh, I, I, I know I did the right thing. I know I did the right thing. She looked extremely happy. And she was... She was interacting with the pigeons so much better than she... I mean, she was always slapping my face. She really didn't like me at all. Uh, but her own her own species, I mean... I was impressed. I, I knew it would go better. But it seemed like she'd been out there all along. <clears throat> she was... She's all right. She's all right. So, uh... So don't get angry. Don't get angry. She, she, you know, I only had her for two weeks. She may have been a free pigeon for those two weeks. She, maybe she just couldn't reach. Sorry, I went back to where I found her, where I wouldn't bring her again because it's a very busy street. And she was living on like a third story uh, loft. I saw where they have a bird's nest hanging off the, off the edge. Really high. I can see why she couldn't reach there. Uh, the tree was like half the height of, of where her nest was so so i'm pretty sure i did the right thing but my god i'm so glad she's gone i cleaned my apartment i cleaned everything up there's no more bird shit i feel much better i feel like so much more to relief look the big fuck you i i didn't ask for the bird it wasn't like a like a parent you know when a parent has a, a child they you know they do it out of out of love or out of wanting a child i assume I didn't ask for this bird. I just saw this poor little bird standing on the side of the road, and I saw it wasn't going to make it. So, uh, so I took it in. So, you know, give me a break. <laughs> but I gotta say, I think I prefer getting insulting comments. I don't know why. I guess I'm just used to that. You know, I hung around with narcissists my whole life, and hung around with just crazy people. You know, we break balls. So. When I get comments like gray matter, I tell you gray matter, you, it just makes me nervous. It makes me, don't take it wrong because I feel I really jumped down your throat, but hey, it, like, I'll tell you, my mother does not fucking get it, okay? She doesn't know what she did to me. She's a narcissist in her own mind. She doesn't realize everything that I know. She thinks that I only th know the ending. No, she killed my brother. Ugh, all the disgusting things. I don't know who the woman is. I don't know who the woman is. At the end of the day, if I ever saw her again, it would be like... I'd have to ask her everything about her life again. You know what I mean? It would be like getting to know someone, my own mother, Fred. So it's just too weird. It's too bizarre. Anyhow. I'll tell you guys one last thing that I realized today. I have an air conditioner. I was noticing today that, and I, and I noticed the same thing last summer. I turned the air conditioner off 
and ten minutes later, I'm just fucking getting angry, and I'm and I'm losing my patience with everything. And then I turn the air conditioner on, and five minutes later, everything is like a little bit better. It is very related to the heat. I went down to the uh, mission today to eat. Oh my god, has it been good there? I went there yesterday. Uh, yesterday was calamari, and today was uh, barbecue pork chops with like. Oh my god, in the summer, the food at the Mission downtown here is so good because all the tourists are here now. I told you last summer, all the tourists are here. So we're getting high quality food, we're not getting like junk. And uh, when I say pork chops, I don't mean garbage pork chops, I mean from like, a, you know, the best kind of pork chops you could buy. I guess it's not the kind of thing people have in a high class restaurant, so they probably had a lot left over. But, uh, oh my god, the calamari yesterday. And the other day there was, uh, oh, anyways, it's, you know, chicken with fries and there was a cheesecake. And sometimes it's really good. It's like uh, better than anything I can make. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm a little bit curious now. I've got to tell you great matter. I'm a little bit curious. But, uh. My God, I really have the bad feeling that you're my mother's flying monkey. You know, that's, that's what I think. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Call it a borderline uh, paranoia, but uh, I think I would have to get you to, to do a lie detector test before speaking with you, because God forbid... I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I what I do. God forbid, I'm ever speaking to anyone as a friend, and open up about you know, not on my YouTube channel, but you know, face to face, like with my with my best friend, my ex best friend. And then after a few weeks or a few months or even a few days, they tell me, you know, actually your mother is really concerned. I will fucking punch them in the face. I will fucking take jail. I mean, that is the most disrespectful fucking thing that my friend did and I'm very glad that he's suffering now. I, well it's not that I'm glad I knew it was going to happen anyone who could do that to me his best friend for a, a year you, you know his, his marriage is not going to work I, I, and he was already having trouble he was trying to get him work it out and I told him dude it's not going to work out I'm going to see you and his, par his kids too don't anyways I don't want to talk about him I don't want to talk anymore I'm just going to say I feel a lot, a lot better the bird had to go. The bird had to go. I would not have let her go if, if she was not... Um, I was really impressed, you know. I, I wish I would have taken a video because... And then I tried to pick her up again and she flew up into the trees. She's she's all right. Uh, yeah. Because <clears throat> when I found her, she was already kind of flying, right? She wasn't like a little chick. She was already... She just couldn't fly up to the third story. All right, anyways, my God. Oh, I tell you, Gray, gray Matter, you really, you really triggered me. Like just hearing someone talk about my mother, like my friend said he saw my mother, I, it just irritates me. It just irritates me beyond belief. Because she's a fucking liar. She's a fucking liar. She's a phony, a liar, a scapegoater. My father's he's a sick pedophile and he's a psychopath and he, he's violent and he's crazy and dangerous. But he's not a liar. He's not a schemer and a scammer to the same way. He just doesn't care. He's a user. It's a user. Yeah, he'll scheme and scam just to get something out of you quickly, right? Or try to get by but, but it's my mother is a narcissist. She plays with it. She loves it. She you know, now I understand my mother's life. She spent and why she's a narcissist. She spent her whole life in a strip clubs, at least her, her when she was young enough to be in a strip clubs. And what do you do in strip clubs? You just talk about the, you know, oh, nah, 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 nah. it's all these little catty bitches to each other and about the male clients. And when I think about now my mother, how many times she spoke about, she would mention things. You know, when people come close to you and you, and you smell their, uh, their breath. When, when I was younger, you know, when she was teaching me how to like, I remember teaching me how to brush my teeth she would mention certain things about hygiene that 
always stuck with me because she said it over and over again and now I know why because it was probably like every she'd be reminded she'd be at a strip club or she'd have a fucking uh, John an escort guy she'd have to screw and he would smell so she would mention it to me the next day you know now I know why she would say these things over and over again that were always re just didn't so much weird shit you know that uh, that the whole thing is like I guess I just like to I like to just take it as it comes to my mind but God if someone tells me that she's sick and she wants to see me it'll be like no I'm sorry I'm sorry I warned her many times I warned her at the end you know and uh, she had a choice man she chose my fucking pedophile father instead of her two normal sons all right I'm sorry <laughs>